Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all in the most worthy and excellent and wonderful and glorious and majestic, powerful, extraordinary name of Jesus. Welcome to the Be That Man Men's School of Ministry devotional for men with me, Reverend Colin Francis. What a joy it is to be back with you again. And you know what? Let's get started. Today we're continuing on our journey to manhood, session three. This is taken from uh, the book, It's a Man Thing by R.C. Francis, which you can actually obtain on Amazon. Today, I'm gonna to be just talking about something that I've spoken about before, but felt in my spirit that I need to get this word back into your spirit. God is after himself. God is after himself. Now I want to start today by reading the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. And it says this, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth and it was so now i want you to pay close attention to these scriptures that i'm reading to you today then you will get the essence of this wonderful and powerful devotional verse 12 of genesis 1 says and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God saw that it was good. And then we have verses 21 of Genesis 1 and also verses 24 to 27 of Genesis 1 from the King James. And it says this, And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind and God saw that it was good now this is verse 24 to 27 of Genesis 1 and God said let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind cattle and creeping thing and beast of the earth after his kind and it was so and God made the beast of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image after in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Praise the name of the Lord. Those are extraordinary passages of scripture. Now remember the topic is God is after himself. Glory be to God. And you notice that God creates everything after its kind. Amen. And then he makes man in his image and likeness. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So God is after himself. Now I want you to bear that thought in mind from those scriptures that I've just read to you. Now we're going to read Matthew 3 verses 16 and 17 from the King James Bible and it says this and Jesus when he was baptized went up straight away out of the water and lo the heavens were opened unto him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightening upon him and lo a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well 
pleased. Praise the name of the Lord. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That was the voice from heaven, hallelujah, that spoke over Jesus. Now, I want us to make it, make, I wanted to emphasize this because it's so important. When you looked at the Old Testament, everything was made after its kind. And when God creates male and female, we are made in his image and likeness. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, in the scripture that we have just read, there was a voice from heaven that said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And so the reason why God said, This is my beloved Son, was because he saw himself in his Son. Glory be to God. He saw himself in his Son. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you know what? He wants to see himself in us. Glory be to God. I want you to understand that. He saw himself in his son. That's why he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Glory be to God. Now remember this. God is our creator. Therefore, we have the capacity to create. God is a communicator. Therefore, we have the capacity to communicate. God is relational. Therefore, we have the capacity to relate, not only with him, but with one another. God is a moral being. Therefore, we have the capacity to live morally responsible lives. God is love, and in him is no darkness at all. Therefore, we have the capacity to love one another, enabling the light of God's glory to shine in all that we do. Praise God. Now, God is good. Therefore, we have the capacity to spread goodness wherever we go. And God is faithful. <coughs> Therefore, we have the capacity to be faithful to God. Hallelujah. To be faithful to our spouses to be faithful to our families, our children, and to each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when we think about how God saw himself in his son, hallelujah, he saw himself in Jesus, imagine how he sees us, that we can create as God creates, amen. Not that we are God, hallelujah. But because he is our creator, we have the capacity to create. Because he is a communicator, we have the capacity to communicate. Because he is relational, we have the capacity to relate, <coughs> not only with him, but with one another. Praise be to God in the highest. So it is clear, hallelujah, that the spirit of God in man is the image of God, hallelujah, and the likeness is the way that we operate, hallelujah, in line with all <coughs> that God is. Praise the name of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 from the Amplified uh, Classic tells us this, but when, edith, when, when anything is exposed and reproved by the light, it is made visible and clear. And where everything is visible and clear, there is light. Praise God. <coughs> Therefore, he says, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead. And Christ shall shine, make day dawn upon you. And you know what? Give you light. So it says, look carefully then how you walk. Live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as the unwise and witless, but as wise, sensible, intelligent people, making the very most of the time, buying up each opportunity because the days are evil. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So God requires us to operate with the principles that he lays out in his word, hallelujah, that we can be a mirror image of him. Glory be to God. 
Guys, I'm telling you something. We are special to God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that he breathed into the man and man became. Hallelujah. Man became a living being. Amen. Hallelujah. God is after himself. He wants to see himself in us. Therefore, we have to look carefully how we walk. We need to live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as the unwise and witless, but as wise, sensible, intelligent people. Hallelujah. Using our time, sensibly making the most of our time, bringing goodness and spreading joy and love and all that God is in this time that we are living in. You know why? Because the days are evil. Hallelujah. God help us, Father God. Hallelujah. To walk and to live purposefully and worthily, Father God, according to your word. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, may my manner of life be pleasing in your sight, that I may be a mirror image of you, that you will see yourself in me as you saw yourself in your son. May I live and walk in the fullness of your intended purpose for me, living worthily, accurately and wise according to your word. In Jesus name, amen and amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. Well, we give the Lord praise for this devotional today. And I pray that you will go over it and over it again and pray the prayer, hallelujah, that we can be a mirror image of our God, that when he looks at us as he looked at his son, hallelujah, he sees himself in us. The Lord bless you and keep you, and the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and keep you in perfect peace. So until next time, from the Be That Man Men's School of Ministry, Men's Devotional. Stay blessed, stay focused, and stay safe. Bye for now, and thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all and welcome. My name is Pastor Colin and I'm from the organisation the Be That Man Men's School of Ministry and we have a couple of books that we would like to let you know that we have for men. Amen. If you have men in your organisation you want to start their development and to enable them to start moving forward uh, as men uh, of God then I recommend Be That Man. Amen. Now, this book, amen, is very instructive, amen, and if you've got new men coming into your ministry, or even those that have been there for a long period of time, do share that they can purchase this book on Amazon, amen. Also, we have It's a Man Thing. Now, this is a biblical directive, amen, with uh, certain definitions for the word man and men when used throughout the scriptures. It's a good pocket book. You can just put it in your jacket pocket, walk with it and read it and it will cause you to study even further. Now these books can be obtained on Amazon or you can go to our website btmlifelight.co.uk. The details are below. Be that man. Amen. Yes, it's live. Be that man and it's a man thing. Hallelujah. Have you got your copies yet? Praise God. I recommend them to you highly. Go to Amazon or go to our website, btmlifelight.co.uk. Purchase them now and encourage your man or the men in your lives. Amen. Bye for now. God bless you.